Well, I'm trying out a newer version of my favorite waiting rod today. We'll see. Ooh. That was a quick one. Well, I was hoping there wouldn't be a lot of weed growth, but it looks like that already might be the case. So good in here though. Oh, well, that didn't sound good. Let's try round two. Hopefully I don't tear off another 30, 40 yards of line again. That would be good. I just had a little fish on there. Thinking about starting a little video series called the After Work Series. Just because so many of my trips are two to three hours during the week and, you know, just don't get time go any longer really unfortunately by about July this will be completely covered in weeds we're gonna get out here with a crank bait while I still could hopefully get into something there's just timber all over the place It is so shallow right now. Might switch to a top water or something. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. This river's so big though. I believe my flow rates, it's like, oh, this shouldn't be that big. She's wide. Definitely a fish. I know I got weeds on here, but I pulled back. Got my drag set too damn loose. This might be just too overgrown for crankbaits. Oh yeah, there's a good one. I knew I was getting hits. There's no way. It's a pretty little small moth. Yeah, some of that blue black color, it's like it's got a, got a bit or something. All right, so we know they're going after crawdads. Come on. 
by the end of it I might need some new line. I tell you, I love pen reels, but for whatever reason, I've never had much luck with this conflict. I, it just doesn't seem to put the real, uh, line on right at all. I can't even use braid on them. I don't even bother anymore. Usually I can, you know, I go through a lot of a lot of line when I'm waiting, so I can use that generally, but oh my god. Sometimes, I swear to god, it's just like, like you can see it right there. Just a slight angle at the bottom. Tried fixing it, but I don't know. If you got any suggestions and you know how to fix these things, leave it in the comments. Because it seems like a good reel. I mean, it's got good pressure and I've never had any issues with fish, really. But for whatever reason, I just cannot seem to get this thing to work right. Right as I was turning the video off, I hooked into this guy. Oh yeah. He just slammed it too. <laughs> Look at that. Right in there. That is a pretty, pretty fish. Shoot my line up too. That big one hit it on the pause when I stopped reeling. Turn off the camera, because to show you never turn your uh, camera off until you're sure you're done. I love wading so much. I'm glad not a lot of people do it. <laughs> Here anyways. Funny because I actually started wading seriously on the Clinton River in Detroit of all places. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, make sure those hooks are in. They're just catching it right on the end there. That big one had it in its mouth, but these little ones, man. They're just grabbing her a little bit. Oh. I was hoping you'd let yourself go there, buddy. Springtime smallmouth. Right in the mouth. This is good because they're starting to get aggressive. I 
haven't seen any beds, but not sure if they're water temperature wise it feels like they should be spawning. It's always a good day when you can clean the house with a crankbait. Oh man, that's a good fish. Oh man, that's a really good fish. It's a damn carp. Oh, he's got a Eel connected to him. Well, this is going to be interesting. I apparently dropped my frickin' car keys. So I am really hoping they're at one of the three stops I stopped the pee at. Otherwise, I am screwed. Fish my way back. Not much else I can do at this point. Been out waiting so many times. Never once dropped my keys. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Well, at least I'm still catching fish. Yeah, little guy, but he's still cute. You've got to be kidding me.
and this was about the time I realized I should probably just call it a day. Thanks for watching, and look out for the next video where I'll be back in the same spot the next day looking for my keys in a kayak with my bulldog.